Hey everybody, what's going on? We're gonna be doing a performance review on a rod that I did the walkthrough for the new series of X-Pride B rods uh, a while ago, but I've actually had a chance to spend countless hours using them. And I wanna compare one model that I get a lot of questions about, and that is the seven foot light model. This is the new version of the X-Pride B seven foot light. Now in the old one, the X-Pride 7 foot light became quickly one of my favorite rods for so many situations. Uh, whether it was perch fishing, pan fishing, uh, smallmouth bass fishing, finesse largemouth fishing, so spy baits, fluff, drop shot, uh, you know, 2.8 rhythm wave, that was the rod. The biggest fear I had when they came out with the new series was would it change? And I'm going to give you my honest review of what I feel. The biggest improvement from the previous generation of X Prides to the new one is this. This is the carbon monocoque handle you can see right there. And basically what this has done to the X Pride series is it's made them very, very sensitive. So when I hold a spinning rod in my hand, this part, the monocoque handle right there is always touching my arm and it transmits the sensitivity of the blank really, really well. Now the blanks remain the same essentially. Uh, they are high power X blanks. The taper and action or power of this rod, in my opinion, has changed slightly. The previous generation of seven foot light plus X Pride uh, was a thinner diameter blank if I put the two next to each other, but the weight is very similar. And the power, believe it or not, it feels a hair stiffer or has a bit more power, but it loads up beautifully on so many situations. Now, I've been fishing them two different ways. I have this one rigged with a 1000 Stratic and five pound Power Pro, and I've been doing this for throwing, you see this is a 39F Macbeth, 2.8 Rhythm Wave, uh, Fluff, Spy Bait, and Drop Shot. This would be my setup. And then when I'm looking for better casting distance and everything else, I've got this one rigged with a 3000 Xsense, or I oftentimes will have a 2500 Vanford on here. Uh, and this one I have done for throwing small swim baits, uh, neds. Uh, I was actually trying to throw this new World Flash popper, the World Pop. Okay, this is a new bait that Shimano came out with this year. And we had some really super clear water, spooky smallmouth bass that this bait was perfect for. And by putting it on eight pound Power Pro Super 8 Slick V2, I've got a 12 pound mono leader and this seven foot light rod. It was the perfect combination of not pulling hooks out because I'm using braid and casting distance and accuracy. So overall, the rod's a home run in my opinion. I would have liked it to have been a hair lighter like the previous generation, but from all intents and purposes, I can say this rod is performing incredibly well. CI4 custom reel seats, uh, the guide train, the SIC guide train, Really, really nice. I mean, everything about this rod is performed exactly the way I like it. The one big thing I can say to you is they're incredibly sensitive. And whether it's the carbon monocoque handle, the blanks themselves, the handle, I think they all play together to make a really good rod. Would I recommend the X Pride B series? Absolutely. I mean, I have everything from the seven foot seven heavy rod, which I use for dunking milfoil and frogging and throwing big, uh, you know, single hook swim baits all the way down to the seven foot light. Great system, great rods. Overall, they're getting a 10 for me. Now, if you guys are looking for that finesse addition to your lineup, I strongly recommend uh, checking out the X-Pride B series. Uh, even if you're looking for cranking, the cranking rods have done incredibly well for me. They're more parabolic and moderate, but uh, everything from th throwing small cranks, neds, fluff, drop shot, this is the one I'm gonna recommend, seven foot, 70MLB, I believe it is. 70LB. You can see that number right there. Don't forget that number. That is the rod that I feel is like the jack of all trades rod when it comes to finesse tactics for everything from panfish all the way up to smallmouth and largemouth bass. That's about it, guys. If you could do me a favor, believe it or not, like 90% of the people who watch my videos are not even subscribed. So click the subscribe button click like, that helps us get the video out. And if you have any experiences with the new X-Pride rods, let us know in the comments. We love to hear that stuff. And if you have a question about a specific technique and you're looking for a rod that might fit what you're looking to do, fire us a question down below. We'll get to it as soon as we can. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. We'll talk to you guys soon.